Hello and welcome to the warm up presented by Minster Bank as we talk Minster Wildcat football here on WOSN. I'm Patrick Hamler joined by head coach Garen Stokes and coach let's wind the clock back a year. There was what I would feel a cautious optimism last year when we talked about what the Minster Wildcats were capable of heading into 2014 coming off a six and four season. Here we are a year later. You guys are defending state champions now. How has that changed the uh, uh, the outlook of the football team from heading into this season from last season? I, I don't know if it's changed the outlook uh, more so than it's changed our, our belief in what we do. Uh, I, we don't know what kind of team we have coming back this year. You know, it's a whole different team. I lost nine critical seniors and uh, we don't know what type of team we have yet. But, but the work ethic, uh, the toughness, the belief in, in the way we do things is, is a little bit better. And uh, We have 19 seniors right now that, that have bought in and have done everything uh, that we've asked them to do for the last two years. So we're excited about that, whether, you know, whether our outlook is more positive or more negative, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. It's, just, it's, it's, it's fun to coach a, a, a group of kids that let you grind them, and, and we have that right now. And, uh, so I, I don't know. Our outlook is, is can we have a great day Monday? <laughs> so that's about as far as we get. Uh, with that, with the outlook being what it is, has that uh, affected the approach that you guys have taken to the off season and then getting started with practices? No, I, we're we're not a we don't we honestly don't like change things that we do hardly ever. Uh, we come in and we're going to ask the kids to go really, really, really hard. Uh, in every aspect of what we do, and like we don't have a, a period of where it's it's lighter. It's uh, we feel good about ourselves, and uh, we just got in a fight as a coaching staff a couple you know hours ago. We're never satisfied. We we try to stay uncomfortable as it gets, and uh, just keep pushing. Uh, we're our program in, in the way we want it is is that none of us are good enough. I'm not good enough. Our assistants aren't good enough. Our kids aren't good enough, and and, and we're never going to stop trying to get better. And that's just kind of who we are. It's the, the approach we take. You know, just getting started with practices, and as you said, you're not really sure what kind of team you have yet. First impressions. What are your first impressions of the team coming out of this uh, first part of training? Our kids are letting them grind, letting us grind them, which is which is good. They they, they want they want to be good. Uh, whether that makes us good or not, I'm not sure. But but they they want to be good, and they they're taking feedback. They're holding each other accountable. They're leading. Uh, they're really trying to push and trying to be intentional about getting better, and uh, that's fun to coach. It's just fun to coach. So whether we go on 10, 10 and 0, uh, we're having fun, like grinding. We're having fun working, which is a pretty cool thing. You know, you mentioned about losing seniors. Let's talk offense for just a second. You've got, uh, you've lost a few seniors, but the starting lineup that you had in different parts of the season last year, a lot of juniors on that on that team, going to be this year's seniors. How do you expect that to shake out by the time you get to week one? You know, I don't. I don't know. They, they've all. They've all got to be better. And we can't replace an Eli Wolf. Uh, there's no. There's no. I just told our guys. There's no six foot four, two hundred five pound, big, athletic, strong kids in our program right now. They, like we don't have that kid anymore. So we've we've got to be much more fundamental. We've got to be much sharper. We've got to be much crisper. Uh, and, and just every everybody has to raise their level of play. And uh, if that doesn't take place, we're going to be in trouble. But but right now I, I like where our kids' minds are at. They're, they're really trying to grind. We got some really ki kids really trying to step up and fill some roles. Uh, but but our roles aren't defined yet. So a as we get into this thing, hopefully uh, we start to form an identity. We're going to form an identity. It's just what what, what the identity is 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 kind of critical. So we'll see. I could ask you the same question about the defense, but I would imagine it's probably a lot of the same answers of what you're looking for defensively as well as offensively same because thing. it was a lot of the same setup. Yeah, it's the same deal. we got to find find some guys to replace that nose guard that we had as a stud. And, um, 16, we don't, have, we don't have him anymore. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see. The identity hopefully will morph into something that we'll find through scrimmages and through two-a-days. Um, I, I, I just like our group as far as where their mindset is and their approach. They, they're approaching it like a business uh, football team that, that wants to grind and wants to work and wants to be coached really hard. And uh, when, you, when you get that, you don't know, you know, we could be okay, we could be average, we could be really good, you know, you don't know. But uh, I just like our approach right now. We're gonna have up, ups and downs and bad practices and good practices, but our kids want to be good, which is huge. Heading out of last season, as you were moving forward to this season, were there anything that you were looking for that was maybe glaring as far as what improvements you wanted to make? Uh, just in, just team in general, not necessarily offense or defense, but just anything that you stuck out that you wanted to work on for next year? 
Uh, we're just kind of, like I said, we kind of just do the same thing all the time. We're, we're a, a do what we do type program that our, our, our weight program is not going to change a ton. We're going to ask them to do it really hard and really well. Uh, our practices aren't going to change a ton. We're going to ask them to do it really hard and really well. And um, if, if we feel like if we do that, we have a chance. So we didn't change our approach. We haven't made any new cliches. We haven't done anything. Like it, we're, we don't do that. It's just, it's just show up and we'll go to work. And uh, if you do that, you give yourself a chance. If you don't, you have no chance of being successful. So um, our, our kids are doing that. Our, our seniors are leading them, uh, doing a great job. And um, not, nothing's changing. Not, nothing's changing. We're just kind of just going to go to work and, and see where it ends up. So how have your players responded to that? Because you, you've had the same approach, you haven't really changed anything, and in spite of the success you had last season, how have the kids responded so far? I honestly, I, from we, we go at six a.m. in the in the mornings all winter and all spring and all summer. And uh, last year we had two one hundred percent attendance guys, and this year I think we have over fifteen or twenty. Where it's like they have never called in sick, they've never missed, they've never had scheduled a doctor's appointment. To me, that, that's a, a big thing for us. And uh, we, we've got always always got to be better and more physical and tougher up front, uh, day in and day out. That's just uh, an issue that we're always going to have here. But our kids are really trying. Like they're trying. They're trying to fix their issues. They're being intentional about what they're doing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where that's going to get us and, and what our record's going to be. But it, it's fun. It's going to. They're letting us grind them, which is cool. As you get further into practice, you'll you'll start looking more at the schedule and getting ready for week one of the football season. Do the uh, do the challenges that the MAC presents and just every team on your schedule, uh, does that affect how you prepare? Do your kids get up especially for different games? Does the coaching staff get up for uh, specific games? And, of course, I'm thinking Coldwater, Marion, local, you guys have back-to-back -back again like you had last year. Does any of that affect your, uh, your approach, your preparation, just what you guys expect out of yourselves in a given game? To me, if, you, if you're doing that, you're probably not a very good program. Okay. Uh, to, or you're not a very mature football team where you have to get up differently for different games. I, to me, you're, our, our approach is like we, Minster needs to be at their best Monday at 6 a.m. Minster needs to be at their best in, during the offensive practice. Minster needs to be at their best during the defensive practice. We don't care about uh, Marion Local or Coldwater or anybody on our schedule. We know those teams are good, so it creates a sense of urgency, obviously, but, but we feel like we have no control over who we're playing. You know, whether they're good, whether they're bad, whether they're really good, whether they're really bad, we're just going to take our approach to try to be at the highest level that we could possibly be at. And, uh, and, and that's, that's, that's tough day in and day out. That's tough for high school kids to do. And it's tough for human beings to do. And uh, our coaching staff, you know, let alone. But uh, that's just our approach. We, we're just, we don't care about our schedule. We don't care about anything else. It's, we need to be at our level, the highest level we could possibly be at all the time. And uh, that, that's, our, that's our kind of challenge for us as a program. That's Mr. Head Coach Garen Stokes. Coach, thank you very much. When we come back, Mark Koontz will be along with some Mr. Wildcat football players right here on the warm-up on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Minster State Bank. I'm Mark Kuntz, joined now by three of the Minster Wildcat seniors. We've got Josh Nixon, Ryan Brown, and Jason Schultz. And Josh, the senior quarterback, I suppose last year had to be a dream come true the way that season played out. But as Coach was talking to you guys earlier, 2014 is the past. This is now 2015. What was it? Has it been difficult to turn the page and, and get ready for your senior year? I don't think it really has been. I mean, we've still, like Coach said, we've done the same work. We've done everything the same. Last year was fun, but we're obviously playing for this season. I mean, we haven't done anything yet. We haven't proven anything yet. So we're just excited to get the season going, especially being our senior year. Ryan, as one of these seniors, a large senior class, I know Coach was impressed with the dedication you guys shown throughout the winter and spring. Was that something that this senior class kind of said, hey, we've got a, we've got a great foundation. It's time to bring it up and keep it at this level to be a Coldwater, to be a Marion local, and be a consistent state title challenger type team. Uh, I don't really think so. I don't think it needed to be said. I think it was just something we all kind of realized that like, we have to be a great senior class and show these younger guys how it's supposed to be so we can work to our potential this year. Jason, what do you think the potential is for this team this year? Um, the potential for this year... It's really not set. I mean, it all depends on how hard each one of our players works. And if we keep up the pace, we have, I'd say we have potential. But one game at a time. We'll work one game at a time. If 
focus on the small steps. Like Coach says, play for six seconds and six seconds at a time. First group of six seconds will be against Fort Lormie. Big rivalry game. Jason, how much do you look forward to taking on Fort Lormie in week one? Um, I look forward to playing Fort Lormie. Uh, it's just any every other, every other game we play. I mean, we don't treat it different. We always just try our best and work, try to outwork them. Ryan, as you head into your senior year, what uh, what do you think the strength of this Minster team is going to be? Um, really, I'm not sure yet, but we know that, for one thing, the entire team, we're going to outwork every team that we play. That's why we practice the way we do. That's why we lift the way that we do. Uh, we're going to try to outwork people because we may not be the most talented team here, but we're going to work hard, and hopefully that prevails. Finally, Josh, you're the quarterback of this team. You had some massive linemen protecting you last year. They've graduated. What is that line looking like for you this year? Um, it's looking solid. We're putting pieces together right now. Ryan's getting in the mix with everybody. Once we find a line, though, that we're going to stick with, I'm sure that everything's going to work to it, work together. I mean, those guys are working right now. They're working their tails off. They're going hard. And once they get comfortable and set and where they're at, I'm sure we're going to be fine. All right, we're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Minster State Bank. When we come back, more from the Wildcats here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Minster State Bank. Joined now by Jacob Steckschulte, Adam Bainline, and Jesse Burkhead to continue talking Minster football. And Jesse, we heard about it earlier from some of the guys. We certainly heard it during practice. Explain what this play for six concept you guys are kind of rallying around this year. Well, each practice, you know, we go in with the idea to work hard. And that's just another aspect of it. We have a whole list of things that every single play, every single down we have to do. And that's just one of them. If we play for six, that's an average length of a football play. We know that like a lot of other teams don't, so if we do, it'll give us an edge. Adam, what's uh, some of the other things on the list of things Minster's trying to do each and every play? We're just trying to outwork everyone, defense and offense. That's all. Jacob, you look back at last year, a fantastic run, one of three MAC schools to win a state title. How much pride do you take in, in being that third MAC school to bring home a state title last year? Um, yeah, obviously, Mary and Coatta are two great teams, and being that third, stepping up and finally taking an extra step and winning it all was nice and all, but yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, last year, after every practice, you guys would do 25 push-ups because it's 25 years since you'd won a state title. Yes. Does that mean this year you guys are only doing one push-up after practice? Uh, we haven't done any. Next year, if we don't win this year, we'll do one next year. But this year, we've done none. Adam, you look at this year's team. I know it's early. You've only had one practice in the books. But you look at this team, what do you feel good about on this team right now? I feel good about the leadership. I, we have 19 seniors that are doing their best at leading. And I think everyone's all in. Adam, the goals for this year's team, is it a return to Columbus? That would be nice, but our goals for this year are to work out, outwork everyone and to have fun. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight on the warm-up presented by the Minster State Bank. So I want to thank all of our guests. For Patrick Cameron, I'm Mark Hoods. We'll see you next time here on WOSN.